Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at Spreadshock Skin Modifier Node once again. Um, this is gonna be like an intro into like a more um, complicated example where uh, we're gonna generate like a limbs and segments of insects or even like a bipedal characters. So I'm thinking I always wanna generate like a kind of like a creatures um, design and, and make everything using nodes. Um, that's a little bit complicated, but for now we're just gonna focus on the on this uh, sausages creation. So yeah, uh, let's just get started. It shouldn't, shouldn't be too hard, I think, but we're gonna take a look. Delete that. Um, we're gonna start with a uh, to make it fun, I'll just use a grease pencil. So this is gonna be like making sausages using grease pencil. Convert grease pencil to Bezier. We can hide the original grease pencil. File save as grease pencil sausages. This is gonna be this one. Oops, actually I have uh, my Safari still open, that's why it's, it's a bit heavy. Let's quit. Okay, um, go to compositing, scratch off, objects in, get selection, our grease pencil curve. And we've done this a few times already. We can basically turn it into like a segment um, using resample uh, we're gonna use vector interpolations to do the resampling plug the original and the result UV connection and this guy is gonna be for our sampling so use range Float count one zero to one count and then this should be the edge slice off and we can control how many we want how many segment we want that's for for the sausages um, for insect later probably we're gonna use a similar kind of uh, um, concept. Okay, so we have lines and we have we have it in the flowing um, based on the grease pencil handwriting. If we use the skin measure, which is the skin modifier inside Spreadshop, we simply plug in the vertices and the edges and if we turn on live, we get some kind of thickness. And there is one thing about this um, with the skin measure sometimes you do get like a twisting so be careful with that something like this um, we don't worry about that yet at the moment we have like uh, this uh, double distance sometimes we want to merge some of the points um, it depends uh, what you want sometimes you do want like two uh, two lines intersecting to become a single kind of uh, object like this but it depends what you are trying to do see that's um even that's kind of pretty amazing in itself and you can design uh, some interesting um, typeface that way anyway that's probably for the next uh, kind of live noting. So now we have this guy and supposedly I think if we go to edit mode and have a look at this guy they are still separate okay so we can turn these guys into a sausage if we play around with this uh, the radius um, I, I'm gonna try doing that we're gonna use this uh, reroute just to plug into that guy 
um, that's actually not gonna work actually I'll just just float plug that in like that okay with the sausages it depends on how many segment you have ideally each of these uh, sampled um, points which is currently in the equal distance they should kind of generate a segment of sausages what I mean is, uh, let me do a quick drawing all these segment should have that kind of design so of course you can do this in the in a different way you can perhaps just use a edge adaptive and a single sausage and then so that will generate all the sausage but we want to do it at once so it's gonna be a single object so in order to do that let's see if we use um, I think we can use a um, sine wave let's let me try that um, we're gonna have an, a line here and the uh, we have the math the number of lines should be more or less matching this count so I will take that into consideration 70 70 actually number of vertices 70 and then the output should go into sign um, actually instead of line what I need is just range uh, range float let's try this count step this this one should work and plug into the sine wave plug into this guy and let's have a look this guy that guy okay that's uh that's the results kind of I was thinking although it's currently um, it's not so much like a sausages because it's just a, a sine wave it gives this kind of a uh, structure I'm gonna save this um, let me try changing something okay stepping it's kind of looks like a um, kind of accordion or like a spring So you can of course have this, which is not too bad. This is not a bad um, structure. This looks quite fun. Um, we can have control over the amplitude, um, but not gonna do that. Sine wave. Maybe we have. We can have like um, sine and absolute. Um, sine absolute. Let me try that. Sine and absolute. What's gonna happen here? <clears throat> Sun and absolute didn't give much in this case. Perhaps um, sine and map range can do it. Just this, so that's that's good. We have uh, control over new mean and max. Old mean and max should be minus one and one. Clamping, maybe clamping off, and we can start to adjust this to get something that's more or less like a sausages. Um, let me try. The value should actually go more instead of, you know, sausages. Um, I mean, the sine wave goes like this, and that's why for the radius we are getting this kind of structure. 
uh, but if we if we make it absolute it should actually go more like this if uh to make like a uh, sausages then we kind of need that kind of control so it's a uh, it's gonna be like flat in between sausages so that's um uh, perhaps perhaps this um uh, you should have actually like a uh, more count here So we need to kind of uh, adjust this guy. Maybe have less or more. So currently we have keep getting this. Um, let me check. Cause that's that can be used for growing growing the sausages, but we're not gonna do that. Let me have a think. Uh, pattern going up. I was thinking that this clamping should actually work. We actually want the clamping to be on, and then. Simply need to adjust this. Okay, there you go. That's um, starting to look like sausages. That's because of um, in theory, I think this is a sine wave, and we kind of cut it by using clamping, so we, we get a more or less something that looks like a sausages. We can actually use sign and maybe absolute here. Absolute. Actually, absolute doesn't work quite well. I don't know why. Anyways, this is. Okay, that's starting to get somewhere. Okay, that's quite decent. Um, let's make it smaller. That's uh, much better. Okay, cool. That's a uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. This um, uh, this skin measure doesn't have a uh, smooth. You have to turn it on, turn this on yourself manually. I think you can just use this guy over here, just like uh, using the attribute um, set property here and just paste it in. If you are object context modifier skin use smooth uh, probably this should be like data object what's the object name it's uh, alpha zero zero Py dot data object name alpha modifiers use smooth shape doesn't like it object has no attribute objects interesting that's uh, doesn't seem to work um, let me try Py data objects alpha This guy. Object. 
modifier sp skin use smooth shade equal one PPY dot data so I think this should be correct PPY dot data dot objects dot modifier SP skin use smooth shape that should work but anyway we're gonna use a uh, perhaps we can use animation nodes for that objects um, object attribute output grab our object and then paste our modifier data and set the boolean to on now that guy that sausage gonna be like a uh, smooth This guy should be like that. Or actually, always it's okay, but just hide this. Hide the node tree. Okay, that's probably better. So this guy. Trying to adjust this and find the so see this okay. Okay, that seems to work. Let's confirm that all right. Cool, all right. The Whenever we update the frame, the animation nodes should kick off and then fix the smoothing. Uh, we can have more segment. More or less segment, but this is a, uh, like I said, this is, this number doesn't, sometimes maybe you don't need the same number here. You just specify your own. Well, anyway, now if you want to make like um, kind of like a typeface lettering, you can do this quite easily. Say you want to write like a B S on for Grease Pencil, Bezier Curve. Make sure we don't have that link strokes. Now we hide. We just grab this uh, BS into this guy, and we should have the sausages. Although, yeah, in a they get connected again because we need to separate here. We need to do the separation, separate loose part like that. That's kind of does it. Yeah, so it's almost like perfect, but maybe not exactly, but it's not too bad. This is like a kind of like an intro. Like I said, this is an intro to creations of insects or kind of a character's design. Because we want to worry about um, the segment of the limbs and then maybe the arms or the legs. Normally like a character have a segmented 
part and then we want to be able to do this really easily that's what I was, I was kind of thinking so maybe in the next live nodding I'll start to make a segmented of a insect character so this is for now it's like a, just these sausages Ah, the smoothing doesn't seem to work because we have a uh, we have changed the name of the objects. So just turn it on manually. There you go. Like uh, just the sausage typeface for now. Okay, that's pretty much it for this live noting. Um, hopefully this is useful for you. Any suggestion, comments, just let me know down below. Um, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.